bit earlier in the week. It's over now. Come on, brother. Come on, Dimitar Sabatinov. Came from Bulgaria. He made his home in America. He is America's strongest man. He's here for Dimitar. The heaviest dumbbell ever. Probably one of the most impressive dumbbell pressers ever. Ambidextrous. Watch the show he puts on. Let's hope that Cole hasn't bothered him too much. got to get it on his shoulder properly so he can hit it with his legs. That's one of the keys. It's not just, it's not arm power, is it? A lot of leg power. Shoulders already out of it. It's tricep, it's wrist and forearm, locking it out and holding it. A lot of balance involved also. Fifty-two seconds. And the Atar. Come on, dip it off. Lock it out, baby. That was so close. He can do this. You can see it. He knows he can do this. We know you can do this. 300 pounds in one hand. Balance is key. He's got the power. He's just got to hold it at the top. What makes this difficult, of course, is it's a bit spherical. He's actually done more than this in training. He's done more than this for five reps in training. But this is so slippy, Bill. So slippy. Five seconds. Four. Three. Come on. Yes. Come on. Well, I'm afraid that that was... Kielkowski from Poland. Come on. Such tremendous power, though. I think the smile has its real attitude. It hides it. That's a damn heavy dumbbell. Well, just like a, a mathematician has to go in a formula, he's obviously felt it, he knows it, now he's going through his brain, more legs, a little more arm, back on the heels, not the toes, let's see if he's figured it out. There you go, there's the answer, right there, well done. Well, Colin, you were right. We had just had to go through the computer a couple of times. He now knows just how to make it happen. The heaviest dumbbell in history right there. Can he make it two? Oh. That was brilliant. Well, you talk about athleticism. That young man compensated with his body position under that weight at arm's length. It was the most beautiful thing I've seen in dumbbell pressing for the second time. 300 pounds overhead. Incredible strength at the same time. Right, now the turn of Misha Shevlyakov. Russian Marine. We've got some Russians in the crowd. Make yourselves heard, folks. That means go for it, big guy. Fifty seconds. Once again, it's the maths equation, isn't it? He's figuring out what, he, what went wrong with the first one. He's got tremendous power to take to the shoulder, but this 300-pound dumbbell has a mind of its own. 
Gentleman Belly, it's interesting, he's holding a bit more like a circus dumbbell, closer to the back of his neck. Something Terry Todd said to me before, that this kind of dumbbell, they tend to have to hold more of the shoulder, because of it, it's just so slippy. And it's not absolutely rock solid on the deltoid. And yeah, they're really trying to get some drive off the shoulder. It's got to be stuck on it if they can. That's why they use some shock there to aid in that drive. 12 seconds, Misha, 10 seconds, come on. the mountain of a man taking on the huge dumbbell. Ladies and gentlemen, from Iceland, Hapthor Julius Bjornsson! He is a very, very tall man. Come on, Hapthor. So that was close. He's got a wingspan over seven foot, Bill. Close to getting in a precarious position. That double wants to do what it wants to do. It takes a tremendous will and body power to overcome that weight. What a session we had never seen before in the history of Strongman until our young pole came up and dominated it. Just taking his time, 45 seconds to go. Come on, get behind him, ladies and gentlemen. He wants to do this. You wanted to do it. Let's hear it. Come on, Hathor. Do it. Here we go. Oh. oh you could do this, Hathor. That was really close. 26 seconds. Come on, folks. Do you want to help the mountain from Game of Thrones? Do you want to make a difference? Now it's your time! Come on! Come on, Hapthor! 12, 11, make it happen! Bring it on! Oh well, put your hands together, folks. Great effort. Ever so close. He's got plenty of room on his shoulders for it to sit on. Got a good point there. Right, the town is Lalas. Arnold Champion 2013. And that surprised him a little bit. Just because, again, I think it's the, the spherical nature of this. I've heard in training, he's, he's put up a, a giant circus dumbbell heavier than this. So, he's, again, he's just trying to figure it out. Familiarity is the key. He's on a learning curve, and it's happening really fast. Come on, Ender! Come on, Metazus. He's going to stop there, I think. Okay, fair enough. Sensible. The Big Shaw. Well, if there was one man who was more cerebral than others, you watch him compete, figure it out, I'll be stunned if he doesn't get a couple reps with this because he is so powerful in using his whole body. And it starts down at the ankle, the calf, the quad, the hip, the back. He's so solid and so strong. He's going to launch this dumbbell to arm's length. Ladies and gentlemen, from the USA, Brian Shaw! The rest of the world are in big trouble here, baby. That was awesome. Come on, Brian. One rep, no problem. Two now to equal Mr. Kalkowski from Poland. You know what he can do, get behind him. Let's see the second, Brian, come on. Number two equals the best. One more. 
and he will take the lead with just Zadrunas to go. Colin, in my life I have never seen such tremendous power as Brian Shaw has just displayed two times in a row with a 300 pound dumbbell. You are looking at the strongest man in the history of the world. Watch this. Come on, Brian. Bring it. Right now. 16 seconds to go on the clock. This one to put him into the lead. For the USA. Shaw, three reps, Kielkowski two, everyone else on zero. Sorry, Bill. Now then, concentration. So this is the business. The great strength athlete from Lithuania begins. Here we go, the big Z. Didn't quite lock it out. He gave Magnus Bear the eyes there, and I tell you what, a weaker referee would have given that one. One minute ten to go. So Jonas knows if he gets one rep here, it gives him massive points advantage, and he will not have to bother with the lighter dumbbell. There you go. So now the target must be three reps. To, well, actually one more will equal the pole, two more to equal Saw, his great rival. Between so Brian Shaw and Zaviskis, they have battled it out at the Arnolds and Wells Strongest Man for the last six, seven years. Twenty-five seconds is with us. Worth a half a point to him. Does he want it? Big Z, come on, folks. Ten seconds. Not today. Put your hands together, folks. As ever, a gentleman, Zadrunas Zaviskas. Three times by Brian Shaw today. Now we're bringing the old one back out. It's not just here, but all over. And this is Alexander Lysenko! You might have seen he was searching for a comfortable position. And how you find that with a sear dumbbell, I do not know. Well, once again, holding it a little bit different than some of the others. Trying to hold it behind his neck a bit more. Trying to get more drive with his legs. Now that's a better position. Now, he's got a certain to drive straight up though. This is what you call learning on the job. There's not many sear dumbbells floating around. Thanks to Rogue and Fitness who built us on a whole series of these dumbbells. And they are quite extraordinary. Made with tender loving care. Come on Alex, 22 seconds. Okay, that's it there. Put your hands together, folks. Well done, Alex Lazenko. Jerry Pritchard next. Just a monster of a guy. Size 16 feet. You'd use him as boats. Gets good to get it in position. That's one of the key. One of the key elements to dumbbell, Bill, of course, if you don't get that exact position, you can't thrust with your legs. Right. You're going to miss the power line. If you can't apply it, you're not going to be able to launch it.
Well, he did it. He injured his right knee, Bill, in the deadlift a little bit, and the big law. So I'm afraid the great Dimitar Savatinov. Come on, Dimo. Lives in Florida, originally from Bulgaria. Good run, Magnus. Yes. Again, another good run there, Bill. You can see how he's just sticking these. It's amazing that 25 pounds would make that much of a difference. I just wonder how much he gave them on the heavy one though. Because he really worked so hard at that, just missed it several times. Surely he's lost a lot of energy. But he's bringing it back right here on the lighter dumbbell. He's getting into a rhythm. That was better than the first two. Well done, Dimitar. Come on, go for five. 32 seconds. This is where tremendous conditioning is required. This will be number four. There's two more on your Come on. Here we go. Come on, Dimitar. 13 seconds. Make it five, baby. Come on. Do it, do it, do it, come on. Get going, get after it. Five, four, come on! <laughs> All right. Now the turn of Misha Shevnikov. So 10,000 spectators, get behind him a little bit, all right? Use your voice, give him your energy. Watch him pour it out for you. Beautiful. Really nice. And you know what? He, he, he lost almost no energy there, Bill. That was so efficient. He just got to back it up with another and another. Well, he has over a minute to go. I think he's got a couple more here. Dimitar targeted five, he just missed it. He has four, that's the lead so far. Just over 45 seconds to go. He's got tremendous body power as he pushes this upward, but it's that arm, the question of balance, and keeping it straight, tricep, deltoid launching it. He's never so close. No, um, I just couldn't give it. That was a fair one from Magnus. He's so mean, Magnus. You could be a Scotsman, Magnus. Particularly short arms and deep pockets for Magnus. You know, he's, he's tight. Even with the he's judging. Shot! Come on, Misha! Magnus, good. We must wait. One second. The last rep was not given, I'm afraid. Sorry, Misha. No, yeah. blame him, brother, blame him. Back it away. Ladies and gentlemen, from the Arctic Circle, Known as the mountain, Hector Julius Bjorta.
Remember, Dimitar Sabatino, four reps, that's the lead. We just missed that one. Everyone else is zero at bar 70, a cop on one on this slider dumbbell. 40 seconds left. Oh, the mountain. Slams it up there. That's three. One more to equal Sabatino. Yes! 12 seconds, half four. Six, five seconds, come on. Well, if they don't give it to him, they'll pull their arms off and beat him to death. I mean, that was... Here we go, for Thomas Lalas. Beautiful. Well done, Matthias. That's another good one, pretty close but great. I remember seeing Lamas during the world record. He was the first man to do a top down about 260 pounds. We were talking seven, eight years ago, and it's amazing how it's moved on. And that was another good rep. From you guys on this side, you gotta look at that tricep. Watch it do the work. He's not getting a lot off of his body or his leg. It's that tricep that's built like a tree trunk that's making it happen. There's number four. He's the last man to go, remember? One more is all he needs, and he will be the leader of this lighter seer dumbbell. One more for Taurus, and you've taken the lighter dumbbell, come on! Make it five! 